Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Garkadash, and Shalom to the elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. This is from MSN.com. Uh, Newsweek uh, John Jackson Yesterday at 1.38pm And it reads Putin ally Vows to send Putin ally Vows to send troops To Baklamov Baklamov If I pronounce that right To replace Wagner's forces It says a uh, Chechnya leader, Ramaz Kajavov, said Friday he will send troops to fight Bakhmut if Wagner Group pulls out of the Ukraine, Ukrainian city. Kajavov, a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, made the plea in a statement he posts on his official Telegram channel. Early in the day, Yevgeny, if I pronounced his name right, uh, Press Gozan, Press Hussein, the leader of the Wagner Group, Russian mercenary, announced he will be removing his fighters from Bokomov on May the 10th because of the ammunition shortage prior to his announcement. The Craig Gozin published a video in which he angrily blamed a top Russian official for the death of Wagner fighters because his units were not being provided with significant ammunition. In his statement, Kazra bemoaned the unpleasant fallout between the president's son and the Russian defense minister Shagi Shigo and the chief of general staff Vlari Gaskumov, he said it was a doubtly unpleasant that the defense ministry doesn't meet the Pagosin because he deserves respect for the involvement and vulnerable distribution he made in fighting in the Ukraine President Vladimir Skolinsky's forces since the invasion of February 24th, 2022. It says the the Gulf asked the, that Russian officials announce Pagolskin, if I pronounce that right, accusations of Wagner were not being given enough ammunition. He then recounted how Chesnia units that fought in the Mariupol, Ukraine once faced uh, familiar weapon issues, I meant to say. It says a personally called Moscow talked to a commander and commander and superiors a month later. The problem was solved. He said, yes, it didn't work on the first call, but your units did not record videos that did not give a pleasant and formidable occasion to the enemy. The Chechnya Lydia reprimanded Preskola for showing the bodies of dead Wagner troops in his video saying that filming the bodies of dead com comrades for the sake of a public outcry is wrong. Let's never do that. It says the Kazarov wrote that Chesnia units fought alongside Ragnar troops in the most difficult areas of Ukraine. However, he said that older brother Presgolfshin and Wagner leave, then he and his military will step in to fill the gap of Barkhamov. Right, while you uh, still have an increasing ongoing escalations over there in the Barkhamov region and different parts over there in Ukraine as well, too. It says, uh, if the scenario is still like this, then our fighters are ready to advance and occupy the city. 
It's a matter of hours, he uh, said. Jason J. Smart, a political advisor on post-Soviet international politics, told Newsweek that Kasgroff's statement shows he is ignorant. I mean, he is eager to please his master, Putin. However, sending Chechenyans raise a question. Why have they not seen so engaged in the Battle of Bukhama so far? He added. It says, uh, it says, Smart added, all his, all this really shows his castle rock is trying to kiss up to Putin while at the same time demonstrating that the regular Russian army is hopeless without internal assistance. Kaskalov has officially blacklisted from multiple countries and has been sanctioned by the United States government, I mean by the United States uh, State Department for violation of human rights as well by the European Union, the United Kingdom and several other countries. Newsweek Newsweek reach out to Russian Ministry of the Foreign Affairs via email for comment. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is by, the end is not by and by. Right, so you're going to have continual escalations in that region over there in Balkamov of Ukraine. As you have the, uh, you know, according to reports, while you have the, uh, the leader of the uh, Wagner troops, you know, because recently their troops was um, going through that intense fighting in that region. You know, you had the leader of the uh, Wagner troops who made that video a couple of days ago saying about a potential pulling out of their troops due to the fact they are lack of lack of shortages of ammunition. They are not being assisted with more ammunition. Now you have this new report coming out of uh, the president of Chechnya. They're going to potentially deploy some troops over there in that region, you know. So that shows you that the Russia-Ukraine situation is, you know, it still continues to escalate and increase. That's why I brought out the Luke 21 and 9. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Then say he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Right, that's what we're seeing throughout all the parts of Ukraine with uh, Odessa, Odessa, uh, Ukraine, uh, Bakhmut, uh, Kharkiv, Ukraine. All throughout those whole regions, you're seeing increasing escalations, you know, in that area, and it's going to continue to increase now, so more than ever. While you have this latest report coming out that shows you that the Russian Ukraine situation is going to continue to increase and heat up in different parts of Ukraine. While you have the Russian army going against the Ukrainian army, it continues to escalate throughout all those parts in Ukraine. As this latest article come out says, Putin allies vows to send troops to Bakramov to replace Wagner forces. So with that, hopefully this uh, set down lesson was edifying of this recent news article. As of yesterday at 1.38 p.m. by Joan Jackson, MSN.com, from Newsweek, as it says again, Putin allies vows to send troops to Bakhmut to replace Wagner troops to 
to, to replace Wagner forces, you know, according to reports. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash, and Shalom to the elders out there for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.